Hello everybody and welcome. We are drafting Flashback Ravnica. Fair warning, I have never drafted Ravnica, or I think I've done it once and I don't know what any of these cards do. So, you've been warned. Just so, it's no Morning World, but Last Gasp is like <laughs> Morning World. Where is Last Gasp? I don't even see it. Here. Hey, Squirrel! Oh my gosh! Squirrel with a two year resub! Thank you so much, Squirrel. You guys can we get a lot of Viper love and hype in chat for that two year return. Thank you, Squirrel, for all the support, for being an awesome mod and a generally awesome member of this community. It is much appreciated. Danka, danka, danka. Gold Snickerino is born. White isn't great in this, uh, in Ravnica flashback. So we're gonna go with last gasp. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until the turn. That seems very strong. Guildmage is just busted, right? Sheesh <laughs> tackle. <laughs> Where is my hype? There is my hype. Well, bam. You'd Banshee over Celestia's guild mage. Isn't this card broken? When Keening Banshee enters the battlefield, target creature gets minus two, minus two until the turn. Ooh. I think I'm going to stay on the target. I'm just going to draft black. What guilds are in RTR? Looks like Demir and Selesnya. Is it the same ones as... Sorry. Which guilds are there in... Ravnica. For, for the purposes of this video. Yeah. Wait, there was a second grasp in that pack? But Banshee looks good. Four mana, two, two flying gives minus two, minus two. White, green, blue, black, white, red, green, black. Demir, Celestia, Boards, Golgari. Oh, and there's only four. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, cool. Thanks for the heads up, Chad. Or, you know. Look at the top five cards of your library for each card. Put in that card into your graveyard unless you pay two life and the rest into your hand. <sighs> lore broker? What is a lore broker? And draft UB mill. It's on theme. Too late. I did not see it in time. It was a blue card. I know now because you're saying blue black, but I did not see it. I took this card, which I look at the top five cards that I for each card. This sounds bad. Moonlit bargain is playable, really? And brain spoil is fine too. Five mana, destroy target creature that isn't enchanted. It can't be regenerated. Destroy target creature that isn't enchanted. It can't be regenerated. And it transmutes for three. Stinky Dump, too. I do like Stinky Dump. All right, let's take... It has a shitty death touch, right? Whenever Stinky Dump deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature. Yeah, it has a shitty death touch. Um... Roof Stalker White means flying until end of turn for two. I don't have it anymore, Mac Dog. I already closed it. I'm sorry. Cloister? Is this good? Cloister is a bomb. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, exile all cards from your hand face down. At the beginning of your upkeep, return all cards you own, exile the bottled cloister to your hand, and draw a card. So, sorry, Mac Dog. So basically, I get to draw an extra card for not having cards in my opponent's turn, is that correct? Are you serious? Are you for serious? This card was allowed to be printed?
I'm going to take it, but I just, I like, can't believe this card's real. I have never, like, I just, like... <laughs> Louise. <laughs> Louise, no. <laughs> Dozing Shaman, 5 mana, 3, 4, return target enchantment card from your grave with your hand. Oh, that seems pretty good. Well, this card has Convoke. That seems pretty sweet. Is your YouTube... Is my YouTube channel marked as mature? <laughs> Shaman Kimberly's... Oh, look at you, squirrel, with a fancy gold snake. Dark Heart of the Wood. Sacrifice a forest, you gain three life. That sounds bad. Oh, I remember this card. Convoke. Target you gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. So you can basically Convoke for free on defense when you're tapped out. Get him. What's wrong with this card? I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just let you figure it out. Hey, something clever. How are you? Also, I think I have like, a little bug bite me here. I don't like it. I don't know. I'm not taking it. I don't think I'm playing any of these cards. Yeah, I took gather, but oh, I'm not excited. Necromantic Thirst. Enchant creature whenever enchanted creatures lose common damage to a player, you may return to a card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, that's kind of... Oh, but it's an enchantment? Nothing is wrong with that card. Hey, Alicia! What do I take? This is so bad. Demir Infiltrator. Double stream baby. Twins? Kappa Gabby love Gabby love. It probably is twins. Thank you so much, Alicia. Coming back for that 18 month resub. Thank you for all the support. You guys can we get some hyper love and hype in chat for Alicia's 18 months and Central's 11 months. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate the support. Kappa. All these are bad. I'm gonna take Roofstock or White. Why are these so bad? Greater Maw's Dog is a 4 mana 3 3 with Dredge. Dredge Arena. I don't think that's how twins work. Yeah, 9 months and then 9 months later. I'll take Maw's Dog. Whenever a land enters a battlefield under your control, untap stones. And it untaps target land. These cards are weird. Maw's Dog is these? Okay, good. I feel like our deck's pretty bad. It's extremely mediocre creatures, and... And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Necromantic Thirst on Siege Worm. Necromantic Thirst. Are you saying the worm is thirsty? Is that what you're saying? Primordial Sage. Six mana, four, five. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may draw a card. Ooh, I like that. Golgari Germination. Mostly for flavor reasons? Okay, I just want to make sure that that is what you were talking about. I, I did think so. Whenever a non token creature you control dies, you create a 1 1 green sap ruling creature token. Recollect. Return target creature card from a graveyard to your hand. Fist of Ironwood is kind of good with our Siege Worm, too, right? But I think we want to take Primordial Sage. The rare though is good, right? A rare is good? I think so. I'm gonna take it. Ribbons of Night. Ribbons of Night deals 4 damage to target creature and you gain 4 life if blue was spent to cast Ribbons of Night draw a card. What? This card's so awesome! Yeah, you can easily splash a blue sword as a bomb. It looked amazing. Alright, I'm gonna take it. We splash the blue swords. 
Ribbon seems very, very good. <laughs> you played that card in standard Tron deck at a Pro Tour? But it was really bad. Dude, why do you make fun of me for playing Tron if you played Tron at a Pro Tour? Do you, do you, do you hear how hypocritical you sound? Ooh. What is this? Why is this giant taking popping a squat? I don't get it. Psychic Drain. Target player puts the top X card of his or her library into her graveyard and you gain X life. Wow, so is Mill really a thing? <laughs> the double D? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Two worms is too much. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, deep breath. <laughs> Worm stipulation trap. <laughs> shambling shell, three mana three. When shambling shell, put a plus one plus one counter. Sacrifice it and put a plus one plus one counter on target creature and it dredges for three. Uh, gather courage. I really want to pick up like... Fists of ironwood and stuff like that. I think it would be great in our deck. Three mana flash. As Grifter's Blade enters a... Choose a creature you control. It could be attached to. Creature gets plus one, plus one. I don't really know what to take. I'm just going to take Shambling Shell. Uh, no Mage Shepherd. Tap four and tap creatures you control. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. That's kind of sweet. Sacrifice Blockbuster, Blockbuster deals 3 damage to each tapped creature and each player. Hmm. Wait, what did you say? Just ignored me? I'd slam Lurking Informant. I didn't see you. Sorry. Oh, I didn't big time you, I promise. What would you take now? What does Lurking Informant do? I'll just take this. You like Null Mage? Okay, cool. I'm glad you said that now, because I took Null Mage anyway. Um, this poor guy getting evicted. He needs a home, too. The only thing big timing around here is the war. <laughs> Fate seals from what I saw. Sky Sky Cutter for so this thing. Oh my god, this deck is bad. Gaze of the Gorgon can be four tar generate target creature as at this turn's next end, come destroy all creatures that blocked or were blocked by this creature. Four mana defender, put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Yeah, there's no green coming this direction. There's not even a lot of black coming this direction. Vintage Leaks might resurrect Louise's channel. Who knows? I'm going to take this thing and put it on the sideboard. Troller is very good. Maybe should have taken that. We we might draft again. I feel like this draft it is not turning out well. Trap 
Transluminant is playable. Two mana, two, two, sacrifice Transluminant, create a one, one white spirit creature token flying. Mm, this deck is bad. And it convokes out our worms. We do have double worm. There's a lot of red coming from this side. We're not getting anything. We have 16 playables right now. They need a little help to get started. How do you want me to take your advice seriously when you're saying things like that in chat? How? <laughs> Don't play stupid. <laughs> I do have worms. I, I These worms do seem good. We need to pick up some lower things in our curve. I think if we pick some lower things in our curve, we might be fine. Life from the loam. Cyclopean Stare. Tap target creature, then return Cyclopean Snare to its owner's hand. The mirror machinations. Look at the top three cards of each player's library. Exile any number of those cards and put the rest back in any order. Undead worm. Oh, Golgari rotworm. We are playing worm tribal. This one at least does not look NSFW. Sacrifice a creature. Target player loses one life. I played this worm before. Rotworm, get in there. Maybe another stinkweed imp is what we what the doctor ordered. Voyager stuff. Oh staff. Sacrifice Voyager staff. Exile target creature. Return to exile creature to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Oh, what is this eagle? Dive bomber eagle. Damn. The art of this is weird. Sacrifice dive bomber eagle. Dive bomber eagle deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Yeah, let's take stinkweed imp. I need to find protection for my worms. I have this thing. Look, Gaze of the Gorgon, regenerate target creature, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, right now I'm in the coverage account. Usually I draft on my regular account, but I didn't, I felt, I was lazy. I didn't want to switch accounts. I just wanted to draft, so. <laughs> Fireball Brothers. <laughs> what if I don't mind firing the, uh, what if I don't mind uh, fueling the trolls? I have enjoyed the the worm the worm jokes just as much as they have. I think. Beep be doo be doo boop boo. If I switch to my account, I have an excuse to draft again. That I do. We we I I want us to play like one match with our worms. I want to see if we. What, what we can get going over here. Woe bringer demon. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature. If that player can't sacrifice woe bringer demon. <laughs> Look, every quote sounds bad out of context. Mausoleum Tunk Turnkey. When Mausoleum Turkey enters the battlefield, return to your card an opponent's choice from your graveyard to your hand. I think I want this thing. Swamp Walk still broken. <laughs> you think you'd inform it? Yeah, I'm gonna play with the worms a little bit. <laughs> Look at the top card of target players. Library, you may put that card from the. I don't know. The card is really messed up. If we play some blue, isn't demon great? But I don't think we have any way to get that thing going, really. Oh, scatter the seeds is great. This card is busted, right? It's also awesome with our siege worms. Yeah. We would have loved to pick up more of those. Oh, Golgari's signet ramps us to worm. 
Carry and Howler, four mana Rod Dog, pay one life, Carry and Howler gets plus two minus one until end of turn. That's kind of sweet. <laughs> Your worms on the skin of the sea. <laughs> oh my god. Lurking informant is in lantern control and draft. Yeah, when is our TR coming so we can draft our model worm? That is a OG. Well, for me it is at least. I think two jungle. I think I'm gonna take uh, the signet. It ramps us. It's something we can do early, and it also ramps us to siege worm. We might take the mirror signet. I think the signets are probably pretty good. Um. And it also lets us play Lurking Informant. For ribbons? Oh, yeah, 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 because we picked the ribbons soon, then we need a Castle's Blue. All right, so let's take the Mirror Signet. All right, we're doing it, we're doing it. Our deck is improving. Sacrifice a creature, search your library for a land card with basic land type, blah, 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 this doesn't help me. We can take Transluminant again, it's just like a random bear. You gain one life for each creature on the battlefield if what was spent to cast Dryad's Caress on top of all creatures you control. <laughs> Chip. Hey, how comes Toothbrush? How are you? And I don't think I want a Shambling Shell. I am doing it with the Worms. Uh, I, this actually fits fine in our curve, I think. I'll just jam that. Blood Letter Quill. Whoa, this is creepy looking. Put a blood letter, put a blood counter on blood letter quill. Draw a card and lose one life for each blood counter on blood letter quill. So you can draw cards, but it gets more expensive as you keep drawing. I see. Okay, greater moss dog. The mirror machinations. Ah, uh, we can't do that. Doesn't really do anything. Enchant creature when strands of undeath enters the battlefield. Target player discards two cards. Regenerate enchant the creature. None of these. Oh. Sundring Vitae. Convoke. Destroy target artifacts or enchantment. I guess I'll take that for the sideboard. You did Occam's toothbrush. You definitely walked into that. Mortipede. All creatures able to block Mortipede do so. That's kind of sweet. Let's play some Mortipede action. Seating before the worm comes into play is flavor fail. You'll have to call a magic judge on me when that happens. If that even happens. <sighs> Hey, Burnt Orange Wolf! 22 months! So close to two years! So close in gold. Yeah, of course I can do that, Squirrel. First of all, you guys can get some Viper Love and hype and chat for Burnt Orange Wolf's 22 month return. Thank you for the 22 months of support, Burnt. They are much appreciated. So close to two years. So close to Gold Snake. Uh, for newer players who are not familiar with the convoke mechanic. It's actually pretty cool. Um, what it does is it lets you basically generate mana, not necessarily with with lands, but with the creatures you have in play. So for the very small cost of tapping your creature, um, you, gen you can generate a mana of the color uh, of that creature. So to give you an example, you have a card like... Um, Siege Worm, for example. Hold on, let me scroll over. Uh, Siege Worm, uh, which has Convoke. So if I have a Shambling Shell and a Shambling Shell in play, and then I have a Siege Worm in hand, I can tap the Shambling Shells to pay for the green mana cost of Siege Worm, or Colorless, or like, um, not even Colorless, but just like generic. 
and then I can reduce the cost of Siege Worm by two. So instead of having to pay seven, I would pay five, and you can do that with every creature you have in play. So if you have four creatures out, you can just like ramp out a Siege Worm very quickly. Um, the cool thing with Scatter the Seeds is that Scatter the Seeds itself has Convoke, and it also makes three green Sapperling creature tokens. So this was like one of the best cards we could have gotten for this deck. Uh, we can first of all get Scatter out, we scatter the seeds, we have all these like little 1-1 one, one green sapler and creature tokens, and then these pay for 3 towards the siege worm. So in one turn you could even go like scatter the seeds and even play the siege worm, depending on how much mana you have. Um, okay, chat, I'm gonna be right back, I'm gonna play an ad for you, I'm gonna get something to drink, and when we come back, we will do the mana base for this and take it into the first league and see how we do siege worm theme deck. Huzzah! <laughs> oh my god, I'm <laughs> All right, let's do the mana base for this deck, shall we? Well, actually, let's figure out what we're playing first. We don't have to make that many cuts. Our deck's not very good. I want all my twos. Don't think I need Gather Courage. Uh, I think we did is nice. Shaman Shell's good. Mortipede is, like, very medium, I think. Can we splash for sleight of hand? Mm, mm, mm. Cut Drowsing Shamans this time, Twister. Let me see. Drowsing Shaman. Drowsing Shaman. Looks like garbage. Oh, Dokum, wait. This turned into a Gabby Lute stream while, while you were gone. It, it most certainly did. It wasn't my fault. I am innocent. I am an innocent bystander. There you go. Between Siege Worm and Scatter the Seeds, it just, this, this went somewhere. Gaze of the Gorgon's gotta be not great, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you may be innocent, but you can't be a bystander on your stream. <laughs> I don't know. This deck is 10 out of 10 for being old Gary. What about for also being drafted by a total Nubarino? Uh, I think I'll have my only blue will be Demir Signet for the for the ribbons. And I will just play 8-9. Oh yeah, Spanish, you came back to some nonsense is what you did. Stone Cedar, Hyra Plant is unplayable. Stone Cedar. Whenever a land enters in the battlefield under control, untap Stone Cedar, Hyra Plant, untap target land. I won't be a total new Barina by the end of the 48 hour stream. What would you play instead of Stone Cedar? We could play Gaze of the Gorgon. It's like pretty sweet with Siege Worm. We get to regenerate it when they get to kill it, and then we get to destroy all the things that block it. Gather Courage. Alright, so Stone Cedar out. Gather Courage in. Save deck. Play. <laughs> 46 more hours of MTG. So tomorrow, everybody, because I think, I think I'm just going to uh, jam with this Ravnica deck and then call it... Um, for tonight but tomorrow well i'm excited because i haven't been streaming you guys know me i feel like i go on like streamathons most days when i don't have um other plans and that wasn't the case for the last like two weeks because my mom was in town and the thing that's that's that is hard is that you know they don't want to interrupt but i also don't want to just like be like morning mom i'm just gonna jam a stream for like eight hours see you later <laughs> So I, I, I didn't get to jam as much as I like to stream. Um, but now that none of my family is here anymore, I'm looking forward to like catching up on streaming time and stuff this weekend. So I will be back on tomorrow at around 2 p.m. Central. I got a message. I don't think I'm playing uh, DBD tonight, Murph. Hey, yo. Good luck. Have fun. That does not stop Gabby from jamming DVD and screaming at crazy hours of the night. No family house party every day. Basically, no no family in house is more like stream stream hardcore every day. So I will be also on this weekend streaming. Um, I'm gonna keep this non magic also. I don't usually like to like counter stream the GP. So usually on weekends I end up playing like other random nonsense. LSV equals mom. What is this? Dusk mantle house of shadow. Target player puts a top card of his or her library into her grid. So I'm playing against Mill, but I'm dredge, man. Have you made more homemade pasta? I have not, Squirrel. I have not. Um, I do have a uh, pasta making that date with Sally, who's a person, who's a, a girlfriend that I made the pasta with. That is on TBD. Oh, that was a good draw. <laughs> Arc. What is this? At the beginning of your upkeep, put a plus one plus one counter on Necroplasm. At the beginning of your end step, destroy each creature with converted mana cost equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on Necroplasm. And it dredges for two? Damn, son. So that thing kills me soon? I don't like it. I do, Time Twister. Actually, we will be playing the new Sonic game uh, when it releases. Uh, oh, maybe that's what we'll be playing this weekend, actually. So why all the snakes? Because I love Ambush Viper. In fact, I love it so much I bought the original art for it. Bada beam, bada boom. I heard it's a very, very good Sonic game for what it's worth. So loud. Roofstock or white gates flying until on a turn shore. 
<laughs> Gabby loves snakes and apparently worms. <laughs> Lore broker. Each player draws a card and discards a card. Interesting. Hey, Occam's Toothbrush! Welcome! You guys, can we get some Viper Love and Hype in chat for Occam's Toothbrush? Very first arrival. Sixth Viper that's hatched from... That spawned from the hatchery today. Thank you, thank you for joining us, Akim. How are you? Also, to anybody who has sub today, you should definitely join us on the Discord. <laughs> I should be able to write this worm to victory pretty well. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I want to keening banshee this thing, right? Because at the beginning of your upkeep, put a plus one plus one to on it. At the beginning, destroy each creature with converted mana cost. Equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on it. Yeah, I want to kill it. You don't have the original Siege Worm art? <laughs> I do not. I, I feel like there's other websites where you can get the, the OG art for that. <laughs> Just saying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I definitely want to... Hold on. I definitely want to bash with at least the... This... Because I can still play my Siege Worm next turn. Oh, they didn't block. <laughs> First jank, jank off now, we're writing welcome to the stream. <sighs> he kills himself, but he costs 3 CMC, so I don't really want him to kill my uh, Transluminant. Lena can probably help us find the OG worm. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna pitch swamp. What is Diaz? Stinky dump. Uh, that's kind of annoying. It's pretty good against our Siege War Marino. Yeah, I haven't seen Elena in a while either. Look at the top five cards of your library for each card. Put that card into your graveyard unless you pay two life. Then put the rest into your hand. Oh, so I can pay two per card I want to draw, basically. Um, I think I'm gonna send, oh, this thing can get flying until end of turn. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna send with everybody. I can just play my rot worm. She's moved on to Hearthstone, Elena. Yeah, Elena, I haven't seen her around as much. Okay, yeah, they are trading off that stink video. And they can dredge it, but then they're just like dredging answers for it, I guess. I'm just gonna let these trades happen. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Yeah, okay, so Stinky's dead now and they didn't dredge it, which is good. I, I think once they see that we have Rotworm and, S and Siege Worm, they might dredge it, but th that's fine. Each player draws a card and discards a card? Sure. They did dredge it? Wait, am I crazy? Oh my gosh, they totally did dredge it, you're right. Ah. I don't want a replacement effect. I'll just pitch a moss dog.
I don't need to dredge Ma's dog now. Tap four untapped creatures to control, destroy target, artifact, or enchantment. No. I think I'm just gonna set Transluminant into the fray. I don't really want them to trade with my Rotworm. Sounds good, Ark. Thank you so much for stopping by. I very much appreciate it. Thank you for the support always. Have a good one. What? Oh. Of her library into her graveyard? That's fine. I mail the forest. I accept. Yeah, Ma's dog millionaire. Always protect your worm. <laughs> now I'll bash with all these three. They'll block here and then we'll siege worm out. Target player puts the top two cards of his or library disagreement. So I definitely don't want to dredge against this opponent. This doesn't let me attack. I'm going to pitch lurking informant. It just doesn't attack into any of this meaningfully. <laughs> they do not see the worm coming. I really need to give my worm some action. <laughs> I will not replace. Ooh, I do like this. I need a land now. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you can draw a card. Just send these two. Although, this just gets blocked by this punk. They block this. This is annoying. Unless I attack with everybody, I don't have good attacks. I think I'm attacking with everybody. I'm playing the Null Mage, but I'm, I'm annoyed. This is like... This is just... Them having a Stink Weed Imp is pretty good and it's annoying me. Sure. I was gonna just cast Null Mage Shepherd this turn, Louise. Getting Worm Envy. Oh, that's a good heads up time, Twister. That's right, it has crappy death touch. Whenever Stink Weedium deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature. Like it puts a trigger on the stack and then we get to sack it. Ding dong. There's a trigger. Sack and drain you. Okay, they are at nine now. <sighs> Couldn't resist jumping on the worm tree. <laughs> They dredge stink we don't. They're gonna mill before me. Hey reprintable! Coming back with a two month resub. Thank you for the support. Can we get some Viper Love and chat hype in chat for reprint? Two month return. Thank you, thank you. It is much appreciated. More stink with imp. More like stupid imp. <laughs> Do 
do not want to dredge. Uh, I think I'm going to bash with everybody and play my Primordial Sage. Oh, I'm sorry, Bim. Bim, I, I love DVD, as you know. We will be DVDing soon. They have to make some blocks. They're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, but they're probably also very aware that they can't just keep dredging the Stinkweed up forever. It's dredge 5, like... Clinging darkness, enchant creature, enchanted creature gets minus four, minus one. TPT after worm jerks. Sure. Oh no, another siege worm? I'll pitch moonlight bargain. Don't think we want it against the mill deck anyway. I just want to jam worms and primordial sages. Yeah, Bim, I'm going to cast primordial sage now. We'll see how much we need the worms. Flight of fl oh I've seen this card before. Flight of Fancy enchanted creature when Flight of Fancy enters the battlefield, draw two cards. Enchanted creature has flying. Oh, they have something. Show me what you. Oh, that's fine. What did I mill? Swamp, swamp, and they had a Demir House Guard. Has fear. That's old school. Okay, well, they had to chump with their little Millerino. I can't, I can't with the art of the worms. It's too much. It's too much. He was legit thought in a continuation on the worm joke. <laughs> this looks like it might be problematic, whatever it is they're doing. Whoa! I'm so glad we didn't- Wait, why didn't they kill our uh, Primordial Sage? Oh, it deals 4 damage to target creature you gain 4 life. I see. <laughs> yes, we obviously we're using Worm as a picture for this. <laughs> yes, the Worms were too much for me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Do not dredge. Ooh, last gasp is good. So we can go... We we can stink, like, glass gasp the stinkweed dump. Can you put this on YouTube? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I just can't. We can't convoke the second one with the first, but we can last gasp the the Stinkweed Dump at the end of their turn, and then we'll attack Bash with everybody. Demir Signet. Oh, we mailed our ribbons. I guess I didn't need to draw land. <laughs> uh, pixelated picture of worm. Uh, I have plenty of decks where we lose pretty badly on, on YouTube Fireball. 
but it, it is, this might have crossed the line of too lewd for YouTube. What is this? Tidewater minion loses defender until the turn on tap target permanent. It's a 4-4. Four, four. I mean, that is kind of annoying. <laughs> Lude tube. Gabby censorship. <laughs> Gabby censorship is fake news. It's only it's only partial fake news. <laughs> you believe in wine's day? Yeah, my my uh, invisible glass of wine. <laughs> All right, stinky dump. No more stinky dump is what I say to that. I'm just gonna slay. Slay. It's white wine. Literally transparent. Okay. Okay. He takes six. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Little did you know that there was another one waiting. <laughs> Worm too strong. Opponent conceded. All right. Sacrifice a creature. Destroy target creature was flying. This might be, like, decent against Stupid Worm. Like, Stinkweed Dump is annoying. And they also have the creature that can get flying. Oh my gosh, you guys. I recently ate a pint of ice cream all by myself. And I felt bad about it because I did it in one sitting. <laughs> Siege Worm meta. Is there any way to exile Stinky Dump? You want another pint of ice cream? You say no. I feel. I honestly feel bad that I ate it all in one sitting. It was bad. It was like a thousand calories. <laughs> Gailin, I like the way you're thinking. You had fried Oreos for dessert at sushi place. Fried Oreos are actually delicious. Yes, they are amazing. Was it like goat cheese and lentil flavored Jenny's? No, it was sweet cream Jenny's and it was delicious. No, no, I don't need more ice cream. I. <laughs> I really don't need more ice cream. I'm gonna bring Gaze of Gorgon. We're gonna own stupid uh, Stinky Dump at some point. You think Elvish Sweeper? You think I wanted that? This hand is fine. I guess chat is pretty helpful. Uh, like the chat window is pretty helpful when people are dredging stuff, huh? Oh, does region not work with same? Oh, weird. I didn't think about it. Maybe it doesn't work. It would destroy it, so it just gets a regeneration shield on it. I think it should work. I kind of wanted to draw a two draw, but this is fine. Maybe I'll draw a signet next turn. Or scatter the seeds. That would be nice. That's not too shabby. We don't have blue right now, though. 
yeah, whenever Stinkweed Imp deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature. Yeah, so you put a regeneration shield on it. And it should still work. The most interesting ice cream I have had is bone bone marrow and cherry. Good heavens, yo. Was it good? It sounds weird. Yeah. Bone marrow? Like, it sounds like it's salty? Uh, question chat. Can I gather courage a creature that is summoning sick? Like, can I use a summoning sick creature to cast gather courage? What is happening? Oh my gosh, it's so many colors. I can? Is there cumin flavored ice cream? I can? Okay, cool. Yeah. I thought I could. But it's gonna be sweet when I do it right now. Well, bam. Taste. Yeah, I thought I thought it didn't I thought it worked the way I wanted it to, but I just wanted to be sure. Okay, we are on siege worm range next turn. Flying regenerate tattered Drake. All right, yeah, we should definitely bring in the sky the sky ship sweepers or whatever that card was. <laughs> Cumin, you say underrated seasoning. Why was I getting banned in Luis's channel, not mine? That I don't know. Oh, Bancherino. Well, wow, Bancherino is actually kind of gas right now when they're they they can't regenerate it. I think I should actually just Bancherino. Ding dong. Well, no, it's particularly gas right here. Can't... Oh, I'm sorry. This is... You're right. This is minus two, minus two. This isn't deal damage. Ah, never mind. Oh, well, we should have played Siege Worm. I thought this was two damage. Never mind. I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, I should read my cards, too. <laughs> In before they played Stinkweed Imp this turn, though, that will be annoying. That is fine. I wouldn't mind drawing a card, a land, sorry, a land next turn. Yeah, this is good. Um... Because I might have to kill yep. that eventually, and uh, right now I can send in with Banshee. There 
There you go. In the next turn, if I draw a land, I can Primordial Sage. If not, maybe I can just kill one of these with Dalkin. Dalkin punks. <laughs> I was too busy reading Siege Worm. I kind of was. Swamp Swamp, I milled. I don't think they're going to be able to mill me out. It will be annoying if they find their uh, Stinkweed Ump. Yeah, reading Siege Worm, right? <laughs> what? Flight of Fancy. Enchant creature. When enchanted creature enters the battlefield, you draw two cards. Enchanted creature has flying. Well, that's kind of annoying. I will right, probably ribbons that. I don't even get to draw a card, though. That's sad. Nice, Janus. That's awesome. Awesome possum. They want to double block this. I think I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to send all these three. They're going to double block. Oh, sure. That's fine. This is fine. Taste the worm. Oof, they said. If only they know we have not one but two worms. The double D. Now they're not salty. They're just like, damn. <laughs> Worms one stream. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna jam. I think I'm gonna jam with everybody. I don't know. I feel like we can finish out this game very fast. I'll just put it here. Diversify my threats, yo. What? They have something. Oh, they have mill. That's fine. Uh, oh, yeah. Bottled Cloister may be not so good against this opponent. Another Rotworm and a Golgari Signet. None of these are a big deal. I hope they don't bounce one of my creatures. Yeah, they're at two. Well, the Rotworm would have been able to kill them. Jamming the worm is almost always a solid choice. Going ham with a worm. Stinkweed Imp. Yeah, I've got my number on you. I got designs on you, Stinkweed Imp. Ding dong. Yeah, Cloister seems like... What? They have something? Heal from reality. Return target creature you control to target creature you don't control to so there's understanding. What? 
Oh my god, that's so stupid. Well, aren't they still just dead? They still are just dead. They need something else. They need another appeal from reality. They have another one? Sure. Nope. Nope. Can't handle the worm. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, totally Spanish. That's what I was thinking, too. Club can't even handle me. <laughs> uh, worm retracted. Hmm. The worm did solid work. It's time for it to rest. Hey, Space! Space plus time with a first time sub. Welcome! That hatchery is spawning seven vipers today. Thank you for joining us. I very much appreciate it. You guys can get some viper love and hype in chat for the newest member of the Viper Brood. Welcome, welcome, Space. How is your night going? Worm too strong. Too strong. Mm. Sounds not great, but we do have ribbons and then we draw the mirror signet. Maybe we should be playing an island. And he's the high trait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Needs to recharge. We're playing versus Dr. Oom. Your remote spam got blocked on the on screen chat. I didn't see it. Ooh, hello. Yeah, Stinkweed Imp is not too shabby. I think we're playing against Mill again. I'm just gonna play Shambling Shell, I think. <laughs> oh my god, Bim. Mecha Chiefs, we drafted RTR. We drafted a pretty kind of like garbage uh, Gold Gary deck, but. Yeah, my opponent's not interested in uh, blocking me. <laughs> worm refractory. No! Milled my worm! No! Like this! But they don't know that I have another worm. In the midst. That was actually like pretty annoying. One worm down, one worm to go. It's literally our best card. That's awesome space. I love it. It is definitely one of my favorite emotes. Backup warp incoming? I sure hope so. Ooh. Um. I think I will jam with both of these. No one expects the second worm. And then I'll Demir Signet and Stinky Dump. And if they want to trade, I think that's okay. I could put the counter and move it over here, but I'd rather this thing die, I think. No more worm, no more worm. Don't mill the worm, don't mill the worm. That's fine. Awesome, Spanish. I'm glad you like it. Boom. Uh, A00. So that can be 
I ambiguously left it up. It can be whatever you want it to be. It can either be the shape of the eyes, it can be Gabby Bully, or it can be Gabby BS. Bim, I just uploaded it like yesterday. We, we replaced the rect emote. Enchant creature, enchanted creature doesn't untap during this control next untap step. Attach stasis cell to target creature. I'm gonna sack. Put a counter here. Do we dredge this thing? We might want to dredge this thing. It's dredge three. Yeah, I think this is actually okay. Transluminant greater moz dog and some other nonsense. I just feel like a three one is like pretty good at killing our opponent. I don't. I know I don't want to really do this too much against like a, what seems to be a mill mil deck, but yeah, no worries. A zero zero. Was Gabby Wreck the last non-commissioned emote? No, so I've made half of the emotes, uh, Fireball Brothers. So I've made all the ones that look, all the Zoe ones are made by Yuki. All the ones that look like me are made by Ugu Bear. What is this? Oh. Oh, I didn't like that. So they're going to put my Stinkweed Imp back on top? Yeah, that's annoying. You decided that the only way to make it happen is to become a streamer yourself. I would be happy if you were streaming, Squirrel. I think that'd be gas. Hey, crazy. How are you? Good to see you. Um. So far, well, yeah. All the ones that are text, like the sick brags, the chicken. Um, aggro loose, timeout D's, ween hype are all the ones that I made. Uh, all the ones that look like me are made by you, you by Ugu Bear, and that includes the chair and garbo emote. And then the Yuki ones are the Zoe ones, Gabby 25, which is another Zoe one. Um, so I'm co I was commissioning to replace the wrecked one just because I I don't know I didn't think it was like anything special 24 and I could dredge greater moss dog I think I'm just gonna draw naturally sure this is fine draw yeah you guys you if you join today looks like we had a couple new subs today I think seven new snakes in the hatchery uh, you should join us on Discord. Discord's sweet, and we talk about a lot of nonsense. And we don't just talk about magic. We talk about a lot of games, streams that people are making that are upcoming. What is this? Induce Paranoia. Cast with black. Counter target spell. If black was spent to cast Induce Paranoia, that spell's controller puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, where X is supposed to convert to mana cost. Wow. That's going to be pain. No! Worm number two! And, and scatter the seeds. Oh my god. That was painful. Can old subs go on Discord? Yeah, of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> no old subs. You don't get to have fun. You don't get to join in on the Discords. Telling time. Sounds good, Spanish. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, Fireball. Well, if you sub again, or if you get like Twitch Prime or something, you can definitely join the Discord. The Discord is quite fun. I encourage anybody who is subbed to go check it out. They put a card in hand, they put a card on top of their library. They can choose to put one on the bottom, right? Oh, no, it's one on top and one on the bottom. I see. Compulsive. Wow, they have a ton of card draw. I am reticent to, to dredge against this deck. Terrarian. Okay, my opponent's on nothings, I think. 
We could still draw Golgari Rotworm. I think I will not do it once more. Eh, that doesn't really help us. I was thinking about a PR, but I'm like really worried about doing it against Mill. I don't know. All these removal spells are so dead against them. I like it, Bim. Well, this is a creature I can kill. Oh. Sorry, Fireball. It's okay. At some point, you will not be a child anymore. At some point, you will have your own disposable income and you can be like, I do what I want. Again with this thing. Oh, hello. Okay, our opponent has glimpse the unthinkable. I'm really glad I didn't drudge before. I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna win this game. Uh, we still have the Rotworm somewhere in there. I think I have to uh, dredge Shambling Shell. Oh, no, 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 the rotworm isn't here. Ah, that is bad. This is dredge three, so I'm going to dredge a moz dog, I think. They're down to one card. I'm going to last gasp this. Yeah, mortgage, car payment, bills, and adults. Yep, yeah, I can uh, agree. Those are not exactly the funnest part of being an adult. <laughs> Greater Moz Dog it is. Seven cards to see if we can seal the deal. No, 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 no. More of a delicate dismissers. Okay, we certainly cannot dredge next turn. We do have to kill this thing. Oh, nice. So I actually think I don't want to draw a card. They are at one. We have a lot of turns. Maybe I do draw. I draw and go to five. We kill that thing. I don't really know how the draw spells work in this one. I'm, I'm pretty worried, but I think between Mortipede and Greater Maw's Dog, I should be able to kill them in next turn. All right, chat. I don't know this format. Is it okay for me to draw a card if I'm six? I think I should be okay. I say don't draw. Should we just attack? Well, we can certainly attack. I just really don't think they're going to block. Yeah. Don't think you want to? Fair enough. I do think I want to kill this thing, though, because this thing can mill us. One, two, three, four, five. Can I not play both? Oh, I can't play both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn. Stunlock, I'll send you her info after the stream. But I love working with Yuki. I think she's excellent. <laughs> I like Primordial Sage. Uh, we can bash. We'll see if they block. If they don't, we have ribbons. If they do, primordial sage. Yeah, Yuki is great. Oh, 
They are blocking. Sure. Sure. Sure, sure. What are they milling? Oh, this is going to be a close game. Look at the top card of player's library you may have put. <laughs> Bottled Cloister? Yeah, I don't think I want that. <laughs> Oh god. Tapping signets in 2017. All right, let's do this right. Bam. All right, opponent, you need it right now. No, they're slamming it. I don't like it. Oh no, 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 no. I don't like it. Target player discards a card. Activate this ability only at a time you would cast a sorcery. Target player draws a card. Activate this ability only at a time you would cast a sorcery. No! 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 Oh, well, they're drawing a card. Sure. That's fine. If they make me discard, I'm in trouble. Well, I guess if they make me discard, I pitch this, then they chump here, they take three, I go to three, and then it gives them one more turn. So I guess that's fine. Yeah, they could have made me draw, but they didn't. So they're choosing not to use their thing. They can only use this as a sorcery. Weird. Well, I'm going to go for the kill. Yay! Okay, so we're playing against Mill again. Is Mill just like everyone's favorite thing to do in Ravnica? I don't think I want Bottled Cloister and I don't think I want Mid Moonlight Bargain. I didn't even need my worms. <laughs> you didn't like it, Hogan? Time for Fallout sounds good, Tom. Thanks for stopping by. Strong, independent woman who don't need no worms. <laughs> I don't know what to bring. Maybe this. Ugh, this this card does not seem playable. Gorgon could be okay. Gaze of the Gorgon. Is Mill and Ravnica like everyone forcing spider spawning in, in this turn? Maybe. I don't really know very much about it. All I know is that I don't have two cards to bring in post board. Maybe Necromantic Thirst. They, they just. I, enchantment seems so. Oh, yeah. Roof Sucker White. Bam. Just a random two drop. Perfect. Oh, maybe Sundering Vitae? I don't know. 1-1 one, one for 1 isn't bad. Which one? Oh, the 1-1 one, one for 1. They have like so many 2-2s two though. They don't have any flyers, not really. 
It was just a five mana three three. All right, five mana three three. It is. <laughs> I just want something that can attack them. This is fine. I think it was close. It got spooky. Hello, worm. Swamp Hog will do some decent work. Yeah, it, it sounded it sounded fine. Like I don't know. It seems very expensive. It's overcosted and it's not great. But we just had a lot of cards that we didn't want to play in the matchup. Yeah, three three unblockable. But bam. What? Dark confidant. Dark confidant. That's pretty sweet, actually. So I can either play No Mage Shepherd or and the next turn Golgari Rotworm, or I can play the Mere Signet. We could both lose to Bob in the same week. <laughs> I hope they die to Bob, that would be gas. Yeah, I actually think I should play No Mage Shepherd. Alright, I'm ready to watch them lose. Island enters a revealed card zone? Stupid. Lucky. Alright, this makes me wanna... They might have... They're just passing with a bunch of mana, so I'm gonna... Demir Signorino. And transluminant. They're considering countering this? It's so bad. My opponent for sure has a counter, I think. I should have attacked before doing all this, but my opponent I think has a counter. They're like thinking so much about that. Oh. Huh. They got spooked. Oh, peel from reality? He does. They do, they do, they do, they do. Yeah, I think they're waiting on like a bigger creature or like a Doom or something. But I'm gonna try to do it this- oh. How much is that? The card was for the one that they, um... Four CC. All right, good. That means that I can play a Golgari Rotworm. They do have a counter spell, Remand. My opponents with all the like sweet cards, Jesus. Telling time revealed. Hey, Regilly, how are you? We are playing Ravnica Flashback Draft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I wish I had another land so I would just play Greater Mozdog and Null Mage. Sad. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah. Shambling shell siege worm. Oh, I milled my other worm. I'm so sad. That's fine. I'm still attacking. I'm hoping that Bob kills them. Wait, what? Oh, that's telling time. That's fine. I can... Yeah, that was sad. I mean, I jammed the Rotworm because I thought they had that spell. Like, I think getting milled for seven with Siege Worm is worse. Maybe we get draw a land next turn. We just get to play Shepherd and Ma's Dog. Island enters up. Bob's not doing a good job. That is kind of bad news for us. I think we might have to ribbons that. No, I want to draw land. Bam. Look at Squirrel being an actual mod. Never seen such a thing. Hey, Soothing Burrito, how are you? I don't think I'll be dredging anything this game. What? Last grass? Oh, last gasp on my Ma's dog? My opponent's revealed three lands to Bob so far. You did a lot of actual modding for the last GP. Fair enough. Mm, this monster is annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can ribbons and null mage shepherd. Sad. Alright. We have to ribbons that Vidalcan guy soon. And if they have another Vidalcan dismisser, that's like stinks for us. At least they use our peel from reality reality already. Vidalcan dismisser's a good card. Uh we milled scatter the seeds, I wanted that. And uh Okay, they took some damage. Lurking informant. Oh, that mills us too. The clock is more serious with this one, though. God, peel from reality again? That's awful. Oh my god, that was awful. And they milled it too? They actually had the answer for it. Oh my god. That was a sweet play by our opponent. All else considered. I think I have to kill this thing now. Oh yeah, Dismisser has been annoying as hell. I think I have to kill the Vidalcan and transfer though. And I actually will, like, draw a card.
I was not satisfied with the worm, no. Come on, Bob, can you just kill them? Why can't you keep- why do you keep revealing islands to them? Bam, Demir Guildmage. Ugh, it's kind of vomit. Later, Touch. Yep. Oh my god. I am being milled pretty fast, Louise. Well, because we knew of this one already, and this one's just bonus. Two cards? This is awful. Yeah, our opponent's like a sweet. We are on the like Bob needs to kill them or bust plan. Swamp, come on. We also know that our opponent has Glimpse the Unthinkable in their deck, so. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna try to mill them, too. They can just mill us faster than we can. They've been drawing a bunch of cards and stuff. Oh, maybe we should have activated a... Lurking Informant there to make sure that they didn't get something good with a Flight of Fancy. Oh, wait, we can't even do that right now. That's a top ability. Alright, but later, maybe. Oh, they found Glimpse the Unthinkable! Down to five cards. Bunch of stinky dimps. Ah, the banshee would have been so good. Why no banshee? Yeah, it just comes back to their turn and they kill us. Damn. Okay, Dr. Oom, you say? I wish I had counter spells or something. We have no way to really deal with those peel from reality. It's like really annoying. We don't have anything. Yeah, that's GG's. GG's. This is fine. Scatter the seeds will be good if we get any of our worms. <laughs> I like it, Elder. That's the plan. Yeah, we're probably going to last gasp this thing. Uh, I guess I can stick around if I... I wouldn't have if I hadn't drawn Stinkweed Dump. Like, I would have killed it immediately. But because I did draw it, I can... Pri I think the... Th yeah. Glimpse the Unthinkable is expensive. People just like stuff like mill decks and stuff in Commander. Glimpse is very, very expensive.
They made themselves draw two cards. Sure. Maybe I should have scattered when I knew they were tapped out. Because they have the counter spell that mails you for the amount that it's. Like, this might not resolve, and that would suck. And I would have much rather I do this when they were tapped out, and then I can go, like, last grasp, kill this thing. Oh, but it resolved. What do you know? What do you know? I think we want to... I think we want to sewer dredge more than we want to do the other things. So we won't last grasp yet. No, <laughs> villainous wealth. Villainous wealth is good, yeah. They have peel from realities. Scatter the seeds, stink we dump. Sure. What else? What else? Peel? Peel is fine. They're gonna feel silly when I resolve my 3-3 three, three unblockable. Bam. Lottery Zendikar lands, that's a good name for them. <laughs> Target player discards two cards. Stinky Dump and I think I'll pitch ribbons because I know they have they're gonna play their stupid guy. Yeah. And this gives me the out of drawing something else I can do next turn. Because I'm going to last gasp that thing no matter what, yeah. Nope. Ding. Ding dong. Yeah, expeditions. Oh, I thought you were talking about the full art lands for like old Zendikar, because those cards, are, those are worth like quite a bit, right? The Dalkin Enforcer or Dismisser. Sure. I'm sending with everybody. If they want to block a sapperling, that's fine. They are very close to dying. And then my sewer dredge can maybe finish the... Maybe seal the deal. I think you got e three of each OG Sunday card duels for 20. Oh, really? I thought those were really expensive. If they have... If they continue having Vidalcan Dismissers, this will not be okay, though. Dredging anything. Sin and the clowns. Slay.
Okay, sure, sure, sure. Oh, that's not too much. That's not too much, Paige. Peel from reality and our... Well, yeah, I guess that works. We do go down to two. And we play... I thought they might have counter spell, but we're not gonna. We we have the jam there. So here they play Vidalkin Dismissor again. But if they don't have anything better, they just die. Cause then we attack with two with everything. Yeah, so they know that they're dead if they just Vidalkin Dismissor, so they're gonna have a compulsive. Bam! We did it! Alright, on to the last match. Wow, Worm Tribal is getting there. It's going off. You currently have two of every full art land ever made. What? Not yet, BK. It has mostly been jokes about siege worms. Mostly just that. <laughs> there you go. BK, this is my second time drafting OG Ravnica. I don't know what I drafted. Oh, last time I drafted a mill deck and it was really good because I glimpsed the unthinkable. Um, and a bunch of the Vidalk in like 1-4 I mill you. What? Yeah, b basically those. <laughs> basically just all of those. This hand's kind of bad. I'm gonna keep it just because I have draw bunch and a greater moz dog, but it's not a good hand. Can't be true, basically, Dokomoi. I think I am a lifetime undefeated in Ravnica draft. Hey, I have fun. You too. Thanks. Mm, yeah, I had one of those guys. Hey, I like that guy. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the sanctuaries are in the set. I did during the draft. Playing the set has turned out to be weird but fun. Yeah, second time. Drafting it. Not really sure what I'm doing. Lol. Ba boom. Thank you, happy dude. Thank you, crazy. Screeching Griffin. Target creature can block Screeching for Griffin this turn, and it is two mana. All right, well, I'm just gonna play Dojerino.
Gabby on stream, I'm undefeated, let me taste it. Gabby chatting with opponent, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh no, this sounds feels like it's bad. Other permanents you can troll have hexproof. Oh, that's yeah, that's not great. Create a one-one white spirit token creature that's flying at the beginning of the next end step. I see. Turns out there's a second version of asticism. Even their lands have hexproof. Wow, the brags! I was happy to find that, find that in my colors. <laughs> that is cute. Go, Maz dog. Slay. So next turn I can play Shambling Shell and Stinkweed Dump. What? Don't do this. Oh, they have the worm too. They have it too. Okay, they won't know we have a hexproof creature, so I'm gonna send in with a rot worm. They decline to block. Bam! Ambush Stinkweed Dump. Sorcery speed still is effective. Combat death touch neat. Yeah, PR, I mean, it's like, it's like close enough, and I think it's the best we can do in the set, so I accept Stinkweed Imp as honorary Ambush Viper. <laughs> Would you like to play a game? I heard that the Saw movies are getting redone, aren't they? Yeah, crappy Death Touch, but... D stretch. You're only here for the Moz Dog. Other creatures you control get plus O plus one. Veteran armor arts two two. Oh, that's a pretty cool creature. Is this a? Uh, it's a common. But think of getting in Tempted Joe. I know you have to pay for most things, but how much free content is there to play? There's not a good amount. You can also play Popper, which will cost you like near nothing to play. One Magic Online. Uh, if you have a deck, you can just play in the like open rooms always. Um. Yeah, Jigsaw's coming out, but is that a remake of Saw or not? What? Stop convoking things. Tap two untapped creatures you control. Rootkin Alley gets plus two plus two until the turn. Wow, that sounds pretty good. He doesn't twample. Nice. Our stinkweed up is gonna have to do a, like a lot of work <laughs> in this matchup. I ended up flipping a popper deck for modern burn. Yeah, and now you're short 150. Yeah, it's it's first strike vigilance. You can really get a lot of decks on popper, like and get your value on magic online, but you really can't do that. Um,
Okay, so I get to draw a card. And then I get another card. That's kind of cool. I don't think I want a Moonlight Bargain. Look at the top five cards of your library for each card. Put the card into your graveyard unless you pay two life. That bottle is fun. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I got wrecked by it round one. I feel like we can do this now and just kind of take a look and see what's going on. I don't have to lose a ton of life. Just if there's anything sweet. Like, I definitely want the Siege Worm. For each card, put that card into your graveyard unless you pay two life, then put the rest into your hand. Choose to put in graveyard or pay two life. Pay two life to put in hand. Primordial Sage is pretty sweet, too. Yeah, we don't need rib... I want ribbons. I do want ribbons. I want to kill the Rootkin ally. Or the thing. Oh, sorry, they have Hexproof. Never mind. So I do want Primordial Sage. I forgot, I forgot. Uh, so I'll keep that in hand. Okay, and these are all gonna go to the yard. 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 Also play this. All right, away I go all my cards. My next turn's gonna be sweet because I get to cast a lot of these cards. What's underneath my bottled cloister? Primordial Sage, that's pretty good. Siege Worm too. Both of these are good. Yep, they don't really have attacks. Bam. One, two, three, f one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can't quite cast the Siege Worm. It's okay, though. We mill first now? It's fine. We will be fine. Don't worry. We have the Banshee. Oh, I guess the Banshee doesn't kill this. We need to kill this and... Oh, wait, we can't do anything because these all have Hexproof. How do we win this match? We don't even have the creature that Swamp Walks. Maybe we activate Golgari Rotworm a million times. Maybe that's how we win. Yeah, Banshee don't kill anything. Oh, Lurking in Format mills them. Yeah. Last grasp is totes dead. I think I can kill my own cl my own cloister. I 
uh, with Null Mage at some point so that I don't deck. Yeah, I think I'm actually done drawing cards. I think I have to activate Golgari Rotworm a million times against them. I think that's the plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're at 12. Oh, that is how we, that is how we win, I think. One, two, three, four. I don't think I want to draw. Actually, I guess now it's fine to draw. Oh, I like scatter the seeds. All right, perfect. Yeah, Nomad Shepherd lets me destroy this thing. Top four and top creatures you can just start target artifact or enchantment. That yeah, this is really nice. The next turn we can just use uh more tapede and then send. Slay. Oh, what are they doing? Bramble Elemental. Whenever an R becomes attached to Bramble Elemental, create two green, green sapling chokings. Okay. Okie dokie. That seems like a fun play. I am trying to top four. There you go. Down to 11. There's the last grasp again. Um, two green green saplings sounds dangerous. <laughs> they have one card and I definitely want to send with Mortipede and just slay basically. So I'm going to activate this. One, two, three. Bam. How much has your years of living in a city like Chicago prepared you to master Ravnica draft? <laughs> Brunch and Ravnica would be nice. All right, so they have, at least we have a way to deal with that stupid hexproof thing. Gaze of the Gorgon might not be bad against this opponent. Sundering Vitae might be also okay. I don't know how many other enchantments they have, but they do have that big enchantment. I wanted to see the office strike too. It would have been sweet. Elvish Sky Sweeper. We only saw the Griffin, I think. We're doing well, considering that I thought this deck was garbage. <laughs> we didn't see any removal from them. Maybe Necromantic Thirst is good. Whenever Enchanted Creature deals common damage to a player, you may return to get your card from your graveyard to your hand. Which guild would have the best brunch places? It's got to be like Selesnia. No, actually, Selesnia probably has like a crappy brunch place. They probably have like a homegrown, all organic, non-GMO, never caged brunch. I bet, I bet Gruul would have a really good brunch. I bet Gruul has a kind of brunch where you go and it's like $15 or sorry, 25 or 30 dollars unlimited margaritas unlimited mimosas all you can eat buffet like <laughs> gotta be simic nah it's gotta be gruel come on <laughs> girl is jaeger bombs and barbecue girl has to have amazing food you guys are crazy if you don't think so I bet so Celestia I, I have decided Celestia food has to be awful. And gruel food has to be amazing. 
Girl food has no flavors, just giant chunks of meat. Uh, Gather courage might be okay. I don't really, I really don't know what to change against this opponent. Our removal is a little bit worse against them, but they don't seem to have a lot of removal either. But it's like Mexican. What would Boros be like? Boros brunch. I don't think I'm boarding. Boros brunch. Chan checks some meter flavor. <laughs> this PR. This hand's good. Let's keep up. Sideboarding sounds way more boring than getting to the bottom of this. Well, we will see how, how well I have been prepared. All these years of training. See how they pay off. Veteran armor. That guy seems pretty good. I don't know. Do I want to go call Gary Signet or just play my Lurking Informant? I can't even attack. I kind of want to play Signet, I think. <laughs> Simic Sushi. Ooh, I like Shambling Shell. Shon, shon, shon. Yeah, Simic has to be more seafoody, I think. Simic is probably like. Yeah, that is true. Squirrel Squirrel did do that. Uh, I want to block. They have a lot of creatures that I think get pretty good with this thing. Maybe I shouldn't have because I have this last grasp, but. Oh. Oh my god, what's happening? When hunted Lamasu enters the battlefield, target opponent creates a 4 4 black horror creature token. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was scary. Hunted Lamasu? Hunted Lamasu? I hope they block. <laughs> oh my gosh, squirrel! <laughs> You t you tipped yourself off for that one, by the way. I didn't see it before, but I see it now. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Stinkweed Dump. I'm not gonna let no Haunted Lamasu attack into me. Oh. Oh, my opponent's sad. Get out of here with that hunted Lamasu. Nobody likes her face. I can't let beats like that go in it. It's fair enough. I saw the first one and I was like, yeah, you're right. You totally suggested that. Wait, what? Dromad purebred. Wow, pretentious. Whenever pyramid, Dromad purebred is dealt damage, you gain one life. And it's a 1-5. All right, whatever. What? Totally attacks. It totally blocks our hunter. Going to lose draft a one two flyer with bad death touch, they said. Uh, there are worse things to lose. There are worse things to lose to, my friend. I think I'm gonna play Mortipede. I don't I don't have good attacks, but if I activate Mortipede next turn and I draw a land, I could have both of these block Mortipede, and then they can last gasp the Hunted Lamasu. Oh my god, Louise. Oh, what is this? Watch Wolf? It's a... Uh, oh, this is like Centaur Courser. That's cool. I didn't. I didn't get the thing I wanted. Which is fine. I can play Greater Moss Dogarino. Dogarino. I can set up a good board here. As long as I have the Mortipede out, my opponent's gonna have bad, bad blocks. Well, 
let's just keep developing our board, I think. What plane has the best food? What plane has the best food? Hmm. What would Rakdos brunch be? Probably like blood sausage and stuff like that. <laughs> Shouldn't we be juking? We're, we're gonna juke him in a sec. I want to get the siege worm down before. Oh, Kaladish totally has amazing food. Yeah, you're totally right. Regenerate votary of the conclave. I don't care about you. Gotta tap one more thing. Yep. All right, perfect. Next turn we will do the last gasp thing. Last gasp, Mortipede. Perfect. Mortipede, slay. Ding dong. The order is fine. It's your last breath, Griferino. But I like hard cards. Portal Three Kingdoms. It's gotta be Kaladish. Kaladish has the best food. For sure. Oh, Greek food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I guess they would have pretty good. Uh, your Indian food is so good. Losing to a Wadzi account made it a bit less hurtful. Oh. Dove and none. I like it. Ba bam. Where is my little thing? Ba 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 ba. You guys, I am now undefeated in a, a Ravnica draft, a format I know nothing of, and I thought this deck was pretty bad, but I don't know. It doesn't look like any of our opponents. I think our opponent in round two had a pretty sweet deck, but I don't think any of the opponents in round one or three had like amazing decks. So, guess this is. <laughs> I don't know. I will think about it. There is a lot of nonsense going on with the first round of this draft. So I'll think about whether or not I want to put it on YouTube. But I will do the sign off. Time to retire. Yeah, just go out on top. I will think about it and then we'll see if we put it on YouTube. It was... <laughs> Chat got rowdy. Um, but I'll do the sign off anyway. If you're watching this, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, you can catch more of these on YouTube.com slash Gabby Sparts. I upload VODs and replays and lookbacks and drafts and constructed and other things on there. Um, if you want to catch the stream live, I stream on twitch.tv slash every weekday in the afternoons central times. Thank you for watching YouTube.